Oppenheimer was a great movie, but it didn't tell the story of every person involved in the Manhattan Project. Today, we're going to talk about Chen Chung Wu, the first lady of physics. Born in 1912 in the village of Liu He, just outside of Shanghai, Wu was already on the path to academia at a young age. She attended the Mingda Women's Vocational Continuing School, which was founded by her father, who believed in education for boys and girls. By 1934, she graduated top of her class from the National Central University in Taiwan. She joined a research lab in China, but her mentor encouraged her to continue her education in the U.S. Wu agreed and made the trip to the U.S. where she was processed on Angel Island. Wu's immigration story was a little bit atypical given her extensive education. She knew multiple European languages and was vouched for by the University of Michigan, which led to her not having to spend any time on the island. Upon landing, she spent some time visiting UC Berkeley, and decided to enroll there instead of University of Michigan, like she had planned. The detour had to do with Ernest Lawrence and the cyclotron, which as a physicist, Wu knew she had to stay and work with. In 1940, she received her PhD and started to research beta decay, which would be the foundation for her groundbreaking research later in life. After teaching at Smith and being the first woman to be a part of Princeton's physics faculty, Dr. Wu was approached by Columbia University for a secretive project they were working on. Dr. Wu reportedly told the two interviewers that if they didn't want her to know what the project was about, they should have erased the blackboards. That secret project would later be known as the Manhattan Project. Dr. Wu worked on enriching uranium for use in atomic weapons, as well as improving Geiger counters to ensure scientists could better detect radiation. In particular, when the nuclear reactor they were working on failed, She was the first person to ask for what went wrong. Dr. Wu didn't stop there, though. She continued to make strides in the world of physics. She confirmed Enrico Fermi's theory of beta decay in 1949. But her biggest contribution to the world of physics would be her disproving the law of parity in 1957. Instead of winning the Nobel Prize, though, it went to two male colleagues of hers, despite the shock and protest by fellow physicists. Even though she was denied the Nobel Prize, Dr. Wu was honored in a laundry list of other awards and titles. The first woman president of the American Physical Society, the first person to receive the Wolf Prize in physics, the seventh woman elected to the National Academy of Sciences, the Comstock Prize in physics, her face on a forever stamp. Even an asteroid is named after her. Nowadays, Dr. Wu is receiving the recognition she deserves and in answer to a question that she asked back in 1965 as to whether the tiny atoms and nuclei have any preference for either masculine or feminine treatment.